welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where we are continuing our let's play of Parthia in Rome Total War Remastered. And of course, we're starting on this Germania battle. And um, initially, I thought this is going to be easy when I loaded up the game because I forgot that this second army exists. Um, we're not going to have enough arrows for all this. Definitely not. However, with some careful maneuvering of the cavalry, we might do okay. These screeching women are easy to take out. The warhounds are going to be very annoying, though. They do have two units of cavalry themselves. How about these guys? Yeah, just the general. If we take out the general here, I believe this army will rout very easily. And we're going to have to bank on that if we're going to win. Um, or are they... I didn't read it properly. Are we sallying out here? I hope we're not because if we are and I withdraw, I think. Hmm. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. We can. If I press exit battle when I'm inside the city initially, it should tell me. It should come up with a tick box. Um. Yeah, Germans attacking us. That's just annoying. I, I, they're so low. I have such low armor. That other army we're sending up with elephants and everything, though, that can destroy nearly everything the Germans throw at us. Um, they don't really have any counter to elephants. I mean, the thing is, when in the game, if you're playing as the Ger like, when in the game is the AI gonna ever fight elephants unless you specifically bring them against them? So they don't need a counter to elephants. And, I mean, historically, they wouldn't have a counter to elephants because they would never have seen them. Um, but, well, yeah, we'll do that. So, you guys get that side, you guys that side. These guys, I believe we are selling out then. Um, so get over there, archers. We'll send... Salmations there. These boys, you can get up there actually. New troops have arrived on the battle. My reinforcements as well. Oh yeah. So if I do that, quit now. It says automatically. It doesn't say draw. So I believe okay, they don't have rams. So we just need to whittle these guys down, like usual. Um. There. You actually come up here. We'll use you. Yep. You guys get there. Get in there if you can. Can do with using you guys. So, don't mind. I wouldn't mind just giving a charge into those screeching women straight away. To be honest, they're, they're useless. Get in there. You guys go. I keep them on. Uh, I'll keep them on skirmish mode just because. I don't actually know. Um, it's hard to micromanage your troops when it, when they're all like this. Do we send you over here? Is that so? That general just barbarian cavalry. The screeching women should get absolutely shredded. Yeah, fantastic. Shoot that German, uh, German, that German bodyguard down. Who are you? They're shaken. Let's try a charge. We might lose a couple of troops here. These Sarmatians are very good at charging. I just hope. Yeah. That's the one annoying thing about charging into pikes. No matter what you do, you will lose some troops. Uh, the general looks like he's come forward a little bit, but he's not dying quickly. We do have some experience in these troops as well. They shouldn't be too bad. Um, I believe we would absolutely destroy um, their general in melee now. With those two units, the some these uh, these guys are good. Sarmatian mercenaries, not great morale. Um, where's that charge? Oh no, it's the Scythian mercenaries. These guys, Sarmatians. Here we are. Melee attack of eight, alt attack of ten, which is even better. Um, charge of ten, which is unreal. So they are very good. Uh, you guys get away. I don't know what you're doing. Need to 
get that way if we can. Oh, you've been caught. If you do stop the general, though, that, that would be good. Yeah, they're just going to keep running. Uh, get up there. That general's going to die very, very soon. Not their good general. Their bad general. Get in there, and we'll get these guys in there as well. They're getting a bit tired, though, now. Just to halt them. Now you guys get out. Get out, get out, get out before you all die. That should be their general's dead now. Yeah, he's even shaking. He's wavering. Fighting to the death. That's actually good for us. It means he won't run away. Get over here. We might even be able to win this whole battle, to be honest. Kill 20% of their troops. You guys come on. General, let's go. Get up a bit. Probably over here, actually. Hmm. It's going to take a while for these guys to use all their ammo. Because I believe they still have the same amount of ammo as these guys do. But just with 17 troops. So it takes a bit longer for them to use it all. Yeah, we'll keep you on. Keep you on skirmish exactly for that. Okay, why aren't you all on fire at will, actually? You've not even fired yet. That's pointless. Get a bit of a more spread out line. Is there anyone here that's, that's like Axeman? Yeah. We'll charge the axe. The Axeman will be very easy to charge. And kill. They're actually reasonably quick, these guys. That's one interesting thing. I mean, they have no armor, so they should be quick. Quicker than my armoured cataphracts anyway. My cataphracts are slugs. But they are powerful as hell, so... Can't complain about it, can you? Get out. Uh, screeching women. Screeching women ain't too bad of a unit. They just raise the morale around them and everyone else. Have we killed both their generals? Uh, just one. Uh, there are other ones still there. We've only got 11 of those troops, though. Where are they going? Oh, no, 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 no. 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 You kill that barbarian cavalry. You're going to break now because the general's breaking. Yeah. Hmm. I don't like that. Particularly. Just got to be careful. with These are the proper troops. General, once you've got back inside the city... I want you to stay there. I've completely messed that up. You're being a bit rubbish against these guys, although you are low experience. Hmm. We'll use all our ammo and that's it. Speed it up a bit. Okay, hoplites stay there. Yeah, Sarmatians. We can still use the Sarmatians. Get away, actually. Get away. Ah! Playing on too fast now. Hmm. You guys get there. Actually, what are they? Axemen. Uh, general. Yeah, General, you stay there. You guys come here. That would be good. Uh, you guys come here. I'm sure you'll be able to hit someone. Good job our towers are now shooting as well. Bring you out. We want to kill that general. Be very close to getting a full route on these guys, actually, to be honest. Get over here. Get over here. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, they've run away. There he is. He's dead. Get into those guys. Stop firing. Hmm. It's not ideal. We do have a bit of ammo left, though, so we should probably keep going. Uh, get out. Get out, guys. Get out. Good. Not micro this brilliantly. But we're at that point where it really doesn't matter. Like if you're here at the end of the campaign to see unreal micro and stuff, it's not going to happen. Uh, that's for the start of any campaign. Not the end. Oof, you guys are just sitting there with that gate open. If they actually pushed into the city, we would have a tough job. Uh, you know, fending off, fending them off. 
you guys out here, and then you guys bring you in. Why you? You're the Eastern mercenaries. We don't really need you. Get back. Nice. They tried to charge us. Sarmatians again. Ah! Keep screwing up with the Sarmatians. Really annoying. At least we've only got these tiny little units now on that side, so we don't need to worry about it too much. Get back. Yeah. I believe this was a sally out. I mean, I hope it was. If it wasn't, um, then I am sorry. Okay, both that's their generals. I was just worried then because it said three. That one of those was my general. Wait, the Sarmatians are back out. What are you doing, you crazy? I must have accidentally got them. Look at this. Yeah, they've lost more than half their troops. They don't know what they're doing, do they? <laughs> Keep pulling back, boys. Those have still got ammo. Come up a bit. What are you? You're Spear War Band. I don't want to deal with you. Get there. So... If I do another campaign on this, which inevitably I will at some point, um, probably not straight after this because I've got a few campaigns on the go, um, I definitely will be doing a third age campaign though, another one. Um, and for that, we've been playing Isengard currently, if you're watching this as it comes out. If in the future, it might be something completely different. Ah, no! Oh god, we lost that unit, I believe. How have they survived that? That's why you keep... Uh... Ah, we've not been firing for ages. <laughs> oh dear, this is embarrassingly bad. Oh well. All the good battles make up for it, right? No. As soon as someone sees you do one bad thing, it's it's worth ten good things, basically. So, maybe all the good battles won't make up for this. Um, but yeah, so we've been playing Isengard in the current time, in the present time, when this comes out. So, I believe we'll play Bree next. Probably. That would be my my favourite one to take. To do. I love Bree. Not just the cheese. The nation. It's actually a really fun nation to play. It's very underrated because it doesn't have a very good roster. Like, its roster's pretty pants. Okay, Sarmatians. You've just been heavily underused in this... Uh, this one will keep you on skirmish mode, actually, because I keep messing you up. The skirmish mode isn't great, but it, it's something. Enemy cowards run. Generally, they do. So we might actually win this, you know. And you, get up here. You guys are all melee troops now. Uh, archers? Oh, there's dogs. Dogs trying to get in. Ha! Ah, nice. If we don't open those gates, they don't get in. So, let's not open the gates. I think we win this just by overwhelming numbers. They have no general anymore. We keep them coming away. I'll bring you in here if you can. Get you off skirmish mode. I believe if we charged in with these guys cleverly, we'll win. Even if we bring the hoplites out. I don't want to bring them out though, just because of the war dogs. You guys come up. Um, I think we'll be able to break these guys just by overwhelming numbers. If you, in case you don't know this, overwelming numbers is a morale debuff. Put this on play because it's going to be quite intense micro. Uh, where they get scared because there's overwhelming numbers of troops near them. Get out. See, they, they are wavering. We might as well just do that. They'll break. Yeah, broken straight away. Not lost many troops for that break either. Get straight through them. So you can turn them by doing this. Get through. We really need you to get through. And we'll break them. A few will die on the charge like that. But our mass should just break them. Same this way. And as I say, I'm not bothered about losing many of these guys because they're easily replaceable. That is it. Apart from this one troop. Um, yeah, we lost a lot of troops in those charges, but they, luckily they're all our troops to be trained. Um, you 
you come over here, you come over here, you come over here, you come here, and that's good. Okay, so we, in the end, we actually, in spite of our horrendous micro, horrendous odds, they had double the amount of troops as us, and pretty trash levels of horse archers. Only five really full units of horse archers, we still smash them. Like that. <laughs> if that's not another endorsement for the horse archer, I don't know what is. I mean, every episode I bang on about it, but... And I'm sure you're sick of hearing me talk about it now, but it is. But yeah, plans for the plans for the channel. Isengard uh, will be over at some point. It's going to take a while to finish Isengard, though, definitely. Longer than I expected, because the victory conditions for Isengard are actually quite a lot. And we're at war with Mordor now, so... Mordor is just an absolute huge slog of trash. It's just the trash slog. It's crazy. Like it's, it's crazy the amount of slog if you've not seen that Mordor rare, Mordor gameplay before. Um, let's go. Actually, no. Just just walk through them and they'll break. So this is another tactic you can do. Yeah, look, that was overwhelming numbers. They didn't even touch them. So, yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, guys, just give us one second, and I'll be back in a sec. I'm back. Looks like that's actually enough. We probably won't need to chase these guys down. Yeah, 3%. Look at that. Look at that. They did nothing. We... That's silly. Excuse me. We did lose a lot of... I mean, I'm, I'm surprised we didn't lose our general there. Look at that. 225 for that horse archer. That's mad. That is really good. But yeah, we'll, we'll either play Bree or the Northern Dunedain. I, I'm not sure yet. I kind of want to play the Northern Dunedain when we are... When version 5 of Divide and Conquer comes out. So, yeah. Yeah, that was us attacking them. And we won. Jesus, Dacia... Why are you over here, Dacia? I know you hate me, but just calm down, bro. What can we recruit here? Oh. Oh, dear. We don't have a stables. Can't build the stables. Why can't we build a muster field, then? Uh... Military. Ah, it's requires a large town. We're not going to get that. This is also just a town. We can't recruit anything. But, where's my big army? Ooh. Yeah. It's going to be a while before you get there. But, we have... Yeah. It's going to take him two turns to get there. Either way. Uh, and a, at least another turn to siege. So, I think we'll be okay. If we lose a settlement or two, it's not going to be an issue at this point. Like, look how big we are. Look at the front that we're fighting on. It's a huge, huge front. Now, I'm not sure about the victory conditions in terms of... I don't want to slog through these lands to take all the way to there. That's kind of ridiculous. But, um, we want to obviously kill the Romans. And to me, that means taking their core territory. So, if we take Sicily... We take Italy, I would believe that to be Romans dead. Because in real life, if that happened properly, uh, and it was a substantial... Ooh, I had a bit of a frame rate drop here. It was a substantial destruction of their uh, territory. Um, that's kind of Romans dead. I mean, if Rome, if Romans don't hold Rome, are they Romans anymore? I suppose... I mean, Byzantium, Eastern Roman Empire, so that goes out the window. But, yeah... Now, in terms of building, we built everything. Are we at the end turn? I believe we are. See where? Yeah, end turn, aren't we? A lot of places. Everywhere's building. We still have so much money. It's absolutely crazy. How are Thebes so unhappy? I just don't get it. You go in there anyway to make them happy. Um, now that we're all right in see where, we'll send you up there. Kyrene, yep, yeah, cool. Have we got any more armies moving around? Ah, we have these two. We need to separate them. 
We need to come up. We are retraining these guys, though, right? Uh, we've retrained them as much as we can. Okay, so we have two generals. Right, you are going to be... Who's the best general? You are two command and you're 38, though. You're two command and 20, so you are better. Wildly extravagant. So you are mental. You do like the gods, though, which is good for us. Very lively. So you are a very kind of curmudgeon... Well, not curmudgeonly, I'd say. Irrational bouts of irritation... But you're not a genius, so you have a bow of irritation at the shortcomings of your underlings, but you're actually, you know, not that great yourself, to be honest. Zero management. Uh, financially irregular, so he's a testy man that is also very, very lively. That, those two go together quite well. Like, that, they make sense. Uh, wildly extravagant. Nice things cost money, according to this man's philosophy. And where that money comes from matters not a job. Minus three management. So you are not what we want in a city. But you're kind of what we want on the battlefield. Look at these beauties. We'll go for melee troops first. Let's go four cataphracts. This is going to be the most melee heavy army we've ever put together, really. Get you two. So now the rest of them should be horse archers. Should be 13 horse archers. You guys. Um, so we don't quite have enough to, to put another army together just yet, but we will do soon. So you go back in there. Yeah, it's not enough yet, but it will be soon. We'll keep on recruiting these boys then. Uh, over here in Pergamum as well. How many cataphracts are in there? Four. Let's go for like, yeah, let's just do like a big melee last stand kind of cataphrac army. Now, ships, do we have any ships to take you across? I know you guys are up here. Um, obviously, we've got boats everywhere. Floating around. I... Mm. We've got five rams. Is it wooden though? No. I uh, seven turns. I don't want to wait seven turns. What about Torrentum? Torrentum's still not wooden walls. Ah, yes, we're getting we're getting ladders. Ladders are better than wooden walls. Go for ladders. I don't want to, elephants to die just at the gates for no reason. While we are waiting, I could send you across unless we've got any closer boats. I don't believe. Oh no, we do. We haven't got an army on either. Right, you're going to be taking these boys next turn. So, that would be fantastic. Where are you going to go, though? We could send you to Carthage. Um, to be honest, we probably will need at least two armies here. Uh, low. Repair that. We are building that. It's not going to be enough, though, is it? Oh, well. Uh, by the Zora, we are retraining. Awesome. Tylus retraining. Yes. I think we're good. If we have any more mercenaries, though, we will get them. At these locations. Ah, that guy died, didn't he? That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Uh, and we can attack here because it's wooden walls. Ah, do we... I don't see the point of fighting this. I believe with two generals in this army and none in theirs, we'll hardly take any losses. Let's see. 70... 126! Victory is ours, mighty one. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. They've got a. They must have been owned by Romans at some point. No Greeks. Oh Macedon. Macedon must have had it then. What does this do? Morale bonus to troops trained here. Well, they're not trained here. They're just going to get retrained. So the one annoying thing about Parthia is you can't upgrade the roads. Like roads, it's just one road, right? Yeah, it's just the dirt roads. I don't like that. I don't like it. Uh, but we do get to retrain these guys, so let's do it. We can get assassins and stuff now. Let's end the turn. Ah, I don't care. You're a fucking merchant. Get in there. Securing resources. Ha <laughs> ha! That means we should probably go for Tarentum next time. It also, is that the last of the uh, uh, brutalized territories? Because it might be. Yep, yeah, we'll take you. You're at Antioch, though. Oh, Jesus, we've got a load of elephants at Antioch, but we haven't 
put to use yet. Let's keep going with the elephant training. We are elephant mm, hungry for elephants. Not apples, elephants. Hungry for elephants. When this becomes a if I, if we've got anywhere that's a huge city. Yeah, we do the um, cities over here. Um, really need you to grow, bro. Because we want to get our armored east in general because it's much better. Path, I don't care. Artaxata expanded. Fantastic. That's just in the nick of time. Flash flood that did nothing. Settlement besieged by the House of Ruti. Shite army. That's good. Civil disorder in Thebes still though. 54%. 64 now with those guys. Keep repairing. We'll get those. I believe we will be under control next episode. Uh, marriage celebrations. Fantastic. Faction announcements. Artaxartes of Arsac, poet. Oh, yay! We get these guys because of that. Um, okay, 11 missile attack. That is excellent. 13 missile attack. This army is the dog's bollocks. So, yeah, we were going to send over this Bylazor army, actually. Um, and I believe we'll do that. We do need an extra horse archer though, which I think I should have trained. Doesn't look like I have. Um, but they're happy at least. Build a watchtower. Even though rebels are going to stand on it, it's at the point now where it doesn't matter. Uh, we need better infantry in this army. These two infantry units are screwed, so... Let's get them in the settlement. I don't need to save money now by disbanding them. It doesn't matter. I know I keep saying that, but genuinely it doesn't. You're going to have... Ooh, look, Queen Kareems. You're going to have... Um, get a couple more of those guys just to keep them happy. You're going to have this army coming into there soon. So... Hmm. This army will send to finish off Macedon, I think. Uh, and when this army's done, you can deal with Dacia. Because Dacia ain't really a threat, to be honest. The closest they have to a threat is these armies up here. Which, one of them's moved forward. The other one doesn't look like it has. No worries. It's fine. These guys are just holding until we get this army to go and fight the Germans. Look at this lovely army. It's going to be a while till we can retrain these boys. But, ain't no issue for me. God. That's how slow it is without roads. Without proper roads. Really annoying. Sorry, this episode has been a lot of movement of troops. Right, let's go fight Tarentum. Uh, they only have one unit of infantry, so whatever happens, we should be good. In terms of putting the ladders on the walls. And we will continue our ravaging of Italy. Or I, Italia. If you are a, a Roman of this time. Elephants may seem unstoppable, but they're easily spooked by flaming missiles and spear wielding units. Spooked by spear wielding units? Didn't we just like last episode, like a few episodes ago, just crush about 10 spear wielding Macedonian y y units, like phalanx units? <laughs> just by running them through them like five times? Or was it Dacians? I can't even remember. But the March of the Elephants is very real. And they are very strong. Especially if you're like Carthage and all the Seleucids and you get your um, armoured elephants. But the thing is, I think I'm going to, yeah, I, if I play this again, we play this game again, we'll play a Roman nation. I've done a Julii campaign on original Rome Total War. Didn't really finish it, but we got to a point where we were like very much at the end you go there you go here elephanticles come here um, and then all you guys back here we've got long enough range to just shoot these boys as well if they're anywhere near the walls um, if we don't have to use that ram we won't because I don't want my guys to get shot um, needlessly 
Oh yeah, let's go. No, they're running away. That's annoying. I'm tempted to just charge in the elephants like usual because I don't believe the war dogs will pose a threat. Um, pose a threat. Pose a threat. I don't believe the general will. Vibius is 51. That must be their faction leader. Well, I guess. Oh yeah, I guess it's um, the Julia, uh, the Brutia. They have nothing left, do they? I've got nothing left. In Medieval 2, these guys can run. Which makes more sense. Wait, in real life they would run, wouldn't they? Put up the ladder. Your men are now at the walls with ladders. With luck, they will carry the walls. But yeah, I believe... So, we've already done a Julii campaign. And the way we played that was slightly different to how you would normally play a Julii campaign. And just go fight the Gauls. We So we played them by attacking We did attack the Gauls, but we attacked Greece as well at the same time because we didn't want the Brutii to get it and we ended up getting southern Greece and going on to Anatolia. And it was just a much more interesting campaign than slogging through the um the Gallic lands that are really, really trash. Like generally really trash at the start of the game. The thing with the Scipii that I like is the enemies you fight are pretty fun to fight. First of all, the Carthaginians. More fun than just fighting phalanxes upon phalanxes. They're pretty weak, but yeah, everyone's weak against the Romans, right? Uh, in this game. I mean, it is Rome Total War. Um, and then the other thing uh, with the Scipii is you do get big cities straight away. You get, you get um, Sicily and you get Carthage. And there's some good towns and cities there. I know you have to do the bit of shit through North Africa. But those settlements can become quite rich. Especially the ones on the coast. The ones down in the desert are trash until the end of time. But you just send a half stack there. And by the point you get there. You're pretty much on your way to world domination. And then I always seem to go for Spain and the Egypt after that. Egypt. Obviously it's a long way to Egypt. So we'll have to look at getting boats there. And all that sort of governs. But we will do that. Once we've got this, we'll send these guys in. Uh, where are their units? The general is... The general's there. Speed this up anyway. Got the gate. Let's go. Uh, apparently not. <laughs> is that a gate, please? Uh, do you know what? You guys come around here. That's our guys shooting them. They don't like it, do they? That should be our towers firing at them as well, not our guys. Which is good. Look at that. We've already lost a bit of time. It's annoying fighting these small siege battles, especially with horse archer armies, as we've talked about many, 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 many times before. <gasps> okay, take your... Oh, they broke anyway. The poor fellas. They really don't know what to do. Send in another four. It's those war dogs that I'm worried about. We will probably be able to retrain these guys here anyway, so I'm not too worried about losing that many troops. And this army's good. This army's good. It's, it's not a problem. Send you around here. But yeah, I really enjoy my third age campaign. And Bree would be my next option, I think. Because the thing with Bree is everyone says its unit roster is weak as hell. And it is. It really, really is weak. Like, there's no other way of putting it. Like, if you just look at the Bree land troops, like Hobbits, right? Hobbits are not the troops you want on the front line. Any front line. Um, but... Like other types of troops that they get. So they get Dunedain troops, which are not weak. Definitely not weak. Dunedain troops Dunedain troops are excellent troops. Like really good troops. Um, but then, like, uh, what else is there? Uh, they get more and more Dunedain troops. Do they get elves? No, they don't get elves. Um... That's why I want to wait for version 5 for Dorwinian as well, because of the elven sort of situation there. Ooh. Okay. 
you guys here, please. Um, yeah, that general is going to be annoying. Uh, come back here. Might have to send my general in, but my general's not going to beat him. Like, definitely not. At least my guys can start shooting him now. He's not lost any troops, so. Um, no, 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 no. Okay, he's going. We're going around this way. Right, these guys are bad in melee, you know, so. Like, getting them into melee is not the same horrendous situation as is with the other horse archers, generally. But I still would like you not to melee yourselves to death. And while he's gone us, let's get out here. Kill these war dogs. Like they are better, a lot better in melee. Do you know what? Let's let's tr let's test them. They're not surrounding these guys. Uh, also, stop firing because you're probably doing more harm than good. Oh my god! Look at them. Yeah, look at that in melee. They're doing it pretty well against a Roman general, which is one of the best generals in the game. It's not an armored Roman general yet. Yeah. Yeah, they're so much better in melee. Look at that. Uh, I didn't get to see the stats properly, but yeah. In terms of uh, their melee stats, but they are a lot, lot better. I think, they, and they have a lot better morale, so they don't break. That's a big bonus of the Persian cavalry. I'd still say the Roman, not the Roman, the standard horse archers are better overall. <laughs> Ah, the Brutii. My least favourite Roman faction. You're dead. By far my least favourite Roman faction. I don't know why. I've never had it in my heart for the Brutii. The Julii are just so, so nostalgic. They're red. <laughs> that is a weird thing. They're red, so I always liked to play as them. I know that sounds weak and embarrassing. But this is a completely green and fresh army. Um... But it's true. They are more fun to play as because they're red. <laughs> and Romans are red, right? Romans are red. That is... There's the Roman color. Retrain. Oh, baby. Do you know what? Screw it. We could get rid of our hillmen. And just have Onagers. The reason why I haven't had Onagers yet so far is because they slow down our army so much. I mean, it's it's annoying enough having infantry to slow down your army. But Onagers would be another level of slow. But just for Romans and smashing their walls to pieces, it's probably worth it. Um, yeah, cool. We've got a lot of training. Um, also, these settlements are all quite close to each other, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Why... Where's Ar Ariminium? Ariminum, sorry. Apparently we don't know where Ariminum is. Don't know that it exists. Keep going with the law. Not that we need the money, but whatever. Like at this point, is, is it even worth building in these places? Damascus. Probably worth building Damascus. It's near the capital. Two places building um, upgrades, which is awesome. Alexandria, happy. Pergamum. Just keeping them all happy. Keep going. For, we'll go for blacksmith at Pergamon just so we don't need to keep sending him to Sardis every time. Now, happiness here doesn't look like as much to give happiness, but we'll give the walls that. Oh, they have a bonus to happiness and law. I didn't realize that. Uh, that's definitely not in the original, but it's it's a good it's a good add, I think. Otherwise, there's not really any point in building walls because in this game, if you if you're not being aggressive, there's no point playing like. Okay, Seleucia, you could probably play Seleucia defensively and it'd be quite a good tactic. But apart from Seleucia, there's not many game, not many factions that I would say don't be aggressive with. Um, and with Seleucia, it's probably only certain, re uh, certain places um, to defend. So when you start at Seleucia, you have this region over here, right? This region is shit at the start, and you can only train militia hoplites, so it makes sense to be defensive in Sardis. Up here, though, 
Parthia is a massive pain in the ass because of their horse archers and uh, cataphracts. So you want to get rid of them straight away. So you want to be aggressive. And down here, Egypt is a massive pain in the ass. So being defensive against Egypt often doesn't help because they send so many stacks of shit at you. I mean, we saw that initially in, a, um, in this campaign where there was three full stack armies here. We got rid of them easily because we have horse archers. Like Seleucids don't get that liberty. So by, you know, wiping out some of their early recruitment centers that just produce shit, general just shit, like, they don't produce anything good. They just produce their Nile Spearmen and that. But their Nile Spearmen, when you can only produce Militia Hoplites, are good. Yeah, their Nile Spearmen, when you can produce Horse Archers, are terrible. But when you can only produce Militia Hoplites and Phalanx Hoplites, are not <laughs> that bad. So, being aggressive against them is what you want to be doing. Um, uh, I mean, I used to play much more defensive than this. And then I started watching... Uh, Legend of Total War, and yeah, that changed. <laughs> if you've not watched some of his old campaigns, go and watch them. Watch his um, Europa Barbarorum campaign as Seleucia. Now, that's one of my favorites. I, I absolutely love it. Oh, hello. That looks like someone needs a horse archer army to deal with it. Also, is this Namidia still? It is Namidia. Namidia is still alive, which is surprising to me. Yeah, I believe we could destroy these. We do need this army to get some experience. Mm, it does have a reasonable amount of experience, to be fair. Now, Masana. I think we end the turn here. We've only done like one turn in this in this thing. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Ooh. 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 This is their uh, army left over average defeat. Okay. Oh, well, we'll win this one. Let me just sub that one. Rebel navies are generally a fucking annoying. Uh, where is he? Is it Memphis? Memphis, Tennessee. Right. We have a... Uh, oh. Wait, where did the... Did he, he must have died in the riots. Oh, that's probably why they got angry. Makes sense now. <laughs> Didn't make any sense before. Okay, Vicus Venadai. Dacia, what are you doing, you crazy bastard? That's all I can say. Alright, we'll keep on going. I do think we'll be too late, so we will have to destroy this that army with this army, which... Oh, it's going to be easy. It's gonna be easy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, game. But you are incredibly... That's why people, you know, in, in like Divide and Conquer, people really do complain about it being too hard when they first come to it. But that is... Ooh, Salona. My Salona! Oh my days, that is what we call trash. And it's just a town, that is why that army is like that. <laughs> You're going to tie this. Also, we had you. Where do I want to send you? They've left Torrent. They've left Croton now. Um, I think we need another army across here, really. I'm happy to just siege out that. I um, I don't know. Let's see. If they've got two units of infantry, yeah, we're not going to win that because like the archers won't be able to get on the walls. We could auto-resolve, but it's going to result in a lot of losses, and I don't want to lose my elephants. thing is, my elephants are at the start, so they'll take the losses first. I should probably put them at the end just for those sorts of battles. Take another one of these, and we'll head on. Um, we do need to leave behind our two hillmen. But that's not a worry. So you're moving there. Yes, we we'll do this battle then, guys. I think, and then we'll I think we will be at the end. Oh, look at that trash army, trash central. What was I speaking? I get so easily distracted if you've not noticed already, guys. Um. Yeah. So in divide and conquer, they've added certain scripts into the game, like a doomstack script. If you don't know. Um, where, basically, if a faction gets down to its last three settlements, a big 
what everyone calls in in like the divide and conquer sort of space a doom stack a big stack of troops a lot of them elite depending on what doom stack it is um oh don't run like that is there anyone we can charge straight away i mean the general actually would be good um so this doom stack gets spawned in by the game uh, not recruited by the uh, uh, by the AI or anything. So you kind of are like, hmm. when you first play the game, you're like, that is, that's not great. <laughs> uh, charge their left side if you can. That's where the general's standing. Okay, no, out, out. That's not worth it. Four lost in that general. The general body got already. Get out, general. Ah, he's dead. He's very likely dead. Where is he? No, that's not him. Uh, where is he? I don't see him. That's not. That's not very reassuring. Uh, but people complain about these doom stacks being spawned in because they think it's unfair and that the AI gets that advantage. Generally, if the AI didn't get that, it would reduce the challenge of the game to almost nothing, really. Well, not almost nothing. The the empire management in that game is a lot harder than I would say the, the battles are. Uh, because a lot of the places that you start as have really, really poor economic, uh, economic ability. Very, very little money they make. Uh, I'm trying to think of any, any nation that starts with a good economic situation. Mordor is probably the only one um, that I can think of. You know, like if you're playing as a Dunedine, your economic situation is terrible. Uh, if you're playing as, uh, try to think, yeah, most of the evil factions don't have a good economic situation. Uh, most of the good factions, Gondor can be good, but you start with so many cities that you can't really go wrong. You just have a lot of troops as well, so you've got to balance out and go and take settlements early. Be aggressive, like I was saying. I mean, you can defend. Yeah, defending Altgiliath is still a good tactic, though. It will be a good tactic forever with Gondor, and it makes sense. That should that should probably be the best tactic to use because it's Gondor, right? Yeah, this battle's gonna have to be a full speed ahead one. Let's go. I, hmm, they have no archers, so this is just shooty, shooty, bang, bang. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay, we didn't, we lost one troop in the back of them. Both of you attack them if you can. That was a really bad charge, like genuinely really bad. Uh, we might have to be a draw battle this. I think it will have to be because I don't think we're going to out muscle them in melee with cavalry when they're all spearmen. I know they're all trash spearmen. All depends on killing that general, which at the minute we're not going to do. I mean, we can, we can look to try and do it. We could try and get a lucky charge. No, they moved. I wanted to charge that left side. Ah, keep going. We've still got a bit of ammo, so keep going with that. Yeah. We killed half of their army. Got a bit of experience. Problem is, I just don't want that other army to uh, catch up. I think it's still uh, two turns away, though. Okay. All right, we'll get it. Right, boys. Retreat back inside the walls. Where do you keep all your horses in this little town? Uh, that's it. This battle will be a draw. Yep. That's fine. That's fine. At least they don't heal. Yeah, people don't like that Doomstack scenario, but... It makes you think twice before taking a settlement site. Like second to last settlement of a city and all that sort of stuff. Of a city. Sorry, not a city. Uh, they're going to get close. 
I don't think that's far enough, though. But yeah, I think that'll be it for today, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Um, it's been a pleasure. Hopefully, I'll see you again on the next video. Thank <music> you.